good news. That's what it is. And from all over Africa, we are beginning to hear stories of renewal, revival, and transformation. Watch closely, listen carefully, because these are the stories coming from every corner of our continent. That's the good news. But the best news is that the youth of Africa are spreading the word. They are part of this new generation, ready to stand in the gap and pay the price, ready to move to a place of worship and intercession, ready to enter the powerhouse of prayer. As the youth of Africa, we come to the powerhouse because we are very excited about Jesus and we fell in love with this awesome man, Jesus. And we are very passionate about prayer. And we want to pray and we are going to pray until we see God being glorified all over the world by all cultures. As the Word of God says that uh, let everything that has breath praise God. And the powerhouse is a great place to pray in because we express ourselves in many different ways. Actually, when I come to the powerhouse, I usually go to the personal prayer. It's where people write their prayer of request, prayer of breakthrough, and their heart desires. When I come to the powerhouse, I go straight to the Word Watch. It's where I sit and read the Word of God. The Word of God is more alive and active, and when I read it, I become more alive in my spirit. During times of praying the Word, young people encourage one another to intimacy with the Father. It's important to study the Bible, as the Bible tells us that we should be builders of one another. You know, we are brothers and sisters keeper, and so to grow together, to grow in the love of God. As men and women stand before the wailing wall, they cry out to the Lord for his salvation and forgiveness. Well, at the wailing wall, I come and intercede for people, because it is also, wailing wall is also an intercession corner whereby I pray for people and pray for nations and languages. At the place of intercession, youth lift up the needs of our world. As they place their hands on the globe, they call on God for the healing of the nations. When you grow up in Christianity, you begin carrying other people's need. So intercession is a strong pillar. Therefore, I realize that there are a lot of people suffering, nations suffering. Therefore, a person needs to stand and take up. Their needs. As prayer requests are placed in the offering box, passionate pleas of faith are offered and words of repentance break the bondage of sin. Repentance ushers in the power of the Holy Spirit. Peter told some people, repent, the times of refreshment may come upon you. At the repentance wall, we bring our troubles and our iniquities and our transgressions. I go to the quiet corner and it is my favorite place where I have intimacy with God and I found love with Him. And I also take communion by remembering His covenant that will never be changed for eternity. And as the prayers continue around the various stations of the powerhouse, the children of Africa turn to God and celebrate in praise and worship. Thanksgiving is very important and it blesses my heart because if you understand who you are in the Lord, you are a son or a daughter of God, you will enter his, his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. As the minutes turn to hours, the worship continues. God is at work. And once in the powerhouse, no one wants to leave because it is here that their prayers are joining the river of grace from every corner of the globe. Well, you've seen the powerhouse in action. So why don't you come and join us and start a powerhouse in your area today? I mean, today. Join the movement and start a powerhouse in your community, church, school, or campus. Do it and watch God begin to move. Do it today.